far too common in Chicago. Police investigating a shooting here. And heavily armed United Nations peacekeepers operating in some of the most dangerous corners of the earth. Now there's a push to bring them here. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. And I'm Erica Sargent. A Cook County commissioner wants to get the peacekeepers to Chicago to battle our violence problem. But it would be an unusual move. Consider this from a UN promotional video. Peacekeepers often operate in hostile environments where others cannot or will not go. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely picks up our story. They've helped stop the fighting in war torn hotspots across the globe, from Syria to Sierra Leone. Now a Cook County commissioner is appealing for U.N. peacekeepers in Chicago's crime-ridden neighborhoods. I know that uh, there are those who say that this is an admission that we can't protect the people in the city, but quite frankly, we haven't protected them. But one West Side alderman whose ward is plagued by violence rejects the military analogy. This is not war. I mean, we may have, have some daunting statistics, but again, uh, military intervention is not the answer. Alderman Irvin says it's an economic intervention, not a military one, that's needed to stop Chicago's violence, jobs, and investment. And Mayor Emanuel insists progress in crime-fighting technology and community policing is reducing shootings and killings in high-crime areas like Inglewood. And for all of us that know what Inglewood has stood for before, it's different. And it's the residents saying it. It's not some social scientist saying it. Tonight, after the meeting, Boykin said the assistant secretary general told him one circumstance under which he might come to Chicago. There is a global study that the UN is working on regarding youth and violence. Once that is published, he said that he'd be delighted to receive my invitation to come and to talk about the contents of that study. Now, according to Boykin, the assistant secretary general also said the U.S. mission at the U.N. could invite him to Chicago as well, but that is even more unlikely. And either possibility is a far cry from peacekeeping forces on Chicago streets. Nevertheless, Boykin insists that Chicago needs help, desperately needs help, and that too many Chicago officials want the public here to turn a blind eye to inner city violence. Robin Erica, a lot of politicians believe that Boykin is simply grandstanding here but he is betting that his constituents will see him as thinking outside the box and give him credit for doing everything he can. Have we seen any other leaders in other cities try something like this before? No, this is something completely unusual. I mean, uh, completely out the box uh, because the U.N., you know, intervenes in hostile situations, uh, civil wars, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And even applying that tag to what's going on in the streets of Chicago, of course, is something Chicago leaders do not want. We've heard various leaders say bring in the National Guard, but we've never heard anything about the U.N. peacekeepers, have we? Another step. Right. Another step. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Derek.